Hi everybody, welcome to Deb's Way, and welcome to another Hashtag Tea Tuesday with me. I'm drinking out of my mug from my Alabama farm life. Kathleen Pate says, love one another and be kind to each other. A motto to live by for sure. Well, it has been kind of a busy day around here. We, we ran a few errands out and around. And when I say errands, it's basically shopping errands that we needed to do. We did go to Sam's and got some supplies to stock up the storage shelves back here. And I think I'm gonna put in the Sam's video like right here. It's time for our Sam's run. We're almost there. We have done our shopping at Sam's, but we're still here in the parking lot waiting to get gas. There are many cars here in line. Gas is $3.29, which is a good 20 cents cheaper than most places. So we're gonna wait and fill up. <laughs> William's watching the, the people at the pump. She made it. Barely. This is in front of us. This is all around us at the pumps. And there's even more. Look at the line coming up behind us. Yeah. This is a good price for gas. Now. Well, yeah, now. Well, it's the cheapest we saw coming. Yeah. Here we go. We're almost there. We're <laughs> well, we went shopping today. Got supplied up on paper goods, canned goods, um, some cleaning supplies, yeah, a couple of goodies. I'm going to bring you around here and show you what all we bought today. But first, um, and it all cost, well, the bill came to $250.38, but $45 of that was our Sam's membership renewal. So not bad. <laughs> William thought we were going to spend over $300, but we didn't quite make it. Well, I guess maybe we kind of did when you included this bill in total with everything, membership and goods. And then we got gas at Sam's. It was $3.29 a gallon and we filled the tank. And I think William said that was around $30. So yeah, it was almost a $300 day. As far as the gas goes, other places in town on the way down to Sam's today, we priced it out and oh, it ranged anywhere from $3.49 a gallon down to, I think $3.43 was the cheapest we saw at other gas stations along the way. So we were gonna compare prices, but once I saw that $3.29, I said, we're getting gas here, filling the tank, which we did. So yes, today was a, a very thorough Sam's day all the way around. Let me pull the camera around here and show you what all we got. This is showing you everything really, except for one item that's on the floor behind me. But as you can see, yes, we got paper goods, cleaning supplies, um, some um, canned goods, and the one goody thing we got was right back here, which is Hershey's Triple Chocolate Brownies, and it's a four-pack box. That was less than $7. So we did pretty good. Yeah. And um, we got some more puppy papers that Ginger uses yet. So that was it primarily for our Sam's haul today.
We did a great job in no time at all. We were in and out of Sam's in no time at all. I had a list, I knew what I needed. We didn't deviate too much from the list. We did buy a few things that weren't on the list, but that's okay. We still got out of there pretty reasonably, you know, money-wise. So, and I got things to stock up back here to fill in empty spaces, so I felt good about that trip, and so does William. After we left there, we did go by and have lunch at the Metro Club, our, one of our favorite restaurants. We had a, a late, well, a brunch, really, late breakfast. It, it was really cold out. I mean, it was like 55, 57 at the time, no sun out, and it was rather chilly outside. So after we ate, we headed right for home and got the car unpacked, and I'm back here now trying to get things straightened around here in the uh, storage pantry area. But earlier, um, I was in the kitchen baking. <laughs> William had a craving for some peanut butter cookies again, so I made some from scratch. And they're the easiest cookies to make. I'm going to share the recipe with you again. I've, I've made these before, but not real recent. And they always turn out good. I've made them different ways. Um, the original recipe doesn't call for chocolate in it, but of course we're chocoholic, so it has to have some, some sort of chocolate. This time I put the chocolate chips in the batter. I mixed it all together and baked the cookies that way. In the past I've um, baked the cookies and then towards the end of the bake cycle I put the chocolate on top and then back in the oven to melt the chocolate. And I've either put just a regular Hershey bar, some pieces of a you know Hershey bar, or um, Hershey Kisses. Those work out really well too. So anyway, let me share my baking cookies with you right here.
and that's really been my day today. I don't think we're, we had such a big brunch that neither one of us is hungry for supper, so it's, it's going to be maybe toast again or soup, something really light, which is fine, because I think I've said before, and I don't know where I heard this originally, but I think it's really um, beneficial if you have your heavier meal. If you're not a real active person, you know, like William and I, have your heavier meal in the middle of the day and of course then a, a very light supper so I don't even know what I'm gonna fix for dinner later on tonight um, who knows it'll be something very light I know that but I don't know what but for right now I'm back here in the storage pantry area trying to put goods away on the shelves I'm looking at something that I did not show you in last week's um, sewing uh, tea Tuesday when I worked on that uh, quilt top, and I haven't worked on it since, but I will this week yet get back to it. But I didn't show you what it looked like all sewn together, hanging up on the wall here. So let me turn the camera around here and let you take a look at it. It's just the nine different fat quarters all sewn together in the way that I had it laid out originally. It's quite large, but it's going to be larger anyway because I'm going to put borders on this. So let me show you what I've got here. So no, I don't have an elaborate display board here. What I've got is just the the pantry shelves that I've clothes pinned my quilt top to. But this is what it looks like so far. See, it's just clothes pinned at the top there. And this is what it looks like at this point. but it is about to change. You'll be seeing that in the near future. It's a little daunting to me, but the next step in that procedure is to fold the quilt top in certain ways, you know, fold it in half and then just half again, and trim along the folds. And then put the, everything back up move things around and sew it together. So yes, I'm going to be cutting it apart, but it won't stay in pieces for long, for sure. So you'll be coming along with me for that one. Oh, and somebody else reminded me that I don't tell you what kind of tea that I'm drinking, but I only drink, I don't drink a lot of flavored teas. Only when I'm out and around and I maybe stop at a tea shop somewhere, um, I'll try a flavored tea or a house tea there. But otherwise here at home, I either have Publix, <laughs> Publix tea that they make up themselves, sold in a gallon jug, that, and they do make some good tea, or Lipton's, or Lusianne. And they're basically, what would you call it, they're the... Uh, black pico teas you know not real strong but I I'm not really one for different flavored teas oh and I almost forgot though my special tea which I kinda hold off for special occasions yeah that's that Bengal spice tea mm, very good but today yes I'm just having my plain old Lipton's tea good for me. <laughs> I hope you're all having a good one out there. You take care. I'm going to get back to work here and put the goods away on the storage shelves, get things straightened up back here, and get ready to finish that quilt top. So I'll be talking to you again real soon. But for right now, it's going to be bye for this time. Happy Tea Tuesday, everybody. And if you haven't paid Kathleen paid a visit over at My Alabama Farm Life, be sure to do so. She's really, she's got an interesting channel. Tell her Deb's way said hello, okay?